All right, guys, today we're going to look at Daredevil Volumes 1 and 2 by Bendis, and I'm reviewing both of them together because I think that they kind of belong together. It's the complete run, and the second volume isn't all that long, so I'm going to review both, and this contains issues 16 to 19. Let me take a little break. Don't worry, that story is not that great in between. It's not even done by Bendis. And we do 26 to 60, which will cover volume one of this collection. And then uh, the second volume covers 61 to 81. And then also has Daredevil Ninja 1 to 3. And what if Karen Page? And the first volume is about 800 pages, a little bit more than that. And the second volume is a little over 600. So they're both sizable. They're not one of the bigger omnibuses. And honestly, in this day and age, probably would have been combined into one huge omnibus. But I kind of favor these omnibuses because they don't take as long to read. And you could kind of split up your reading pattern with other stuff in between. So anyway, let's get into these. And we're going to start with volume one. And let me just say off the bat, Daredevil is my favorite Marvel character of all time. And rereading this been this series because this is the third time I have read this series it just solidifies for me that this is my favorite run it's actually Bendis's run that got me into the character years ago and while I love many of the other runs Brew Bakers, Miller's, Chips, current run this run is just one of those I just can't get enough of from the courtroom drama to the excellent look into a man on the brink of having a mental breakdown to the fights being so damn brutal in this series to create this dark and almost myth-like scarecrow and daredevil himself everything about this run just works really well so the first volume actually starts with kind of this dreamlike story about a boy who has ptsd over the events that have occurred in front of him a few weeks back and this is a great kind of startup because this is a standalone series and kind of gives you an idea of how this is going to work and how much focus that we have on ben who's the reporter and you know his he is actually one of my favorite characters in bendis's run and he is great in here and this is a great start to the series but very different than the rest of the series so let me make that straight if you don't love this story because it's more of a dreamlike feel to it that's okay but for me i really enjoy the start but it's when we rarely get into the main you know, long running series for Bendis that we really jump into some good stuff and we jump into this mobster story about, you know, taking down the kingpin, but also finding out who Daredevil is and he is Matt Murdock and going after him too, to Matt dealing with being outed to the world and working his way around it. So this very much feels like a spiritual successor to Born Again, but we focus on the aftermath of people finding out in a way bigger fashion because the news outlets get it. Everybody around New York knows people are trying to figure out, is it true? Is it not true? Is he blind? Is he not blind? Who is Daredevil? And finally, as the volume just increasingly gets scarier for Matt and he's losing his goddamn mind, he decides to go after Kingpin himself and become the Kingpin of New York. That's right, Daredevil becomes the Kingpin of the underground world of crime. So this is an epic, touching, sometimes sad, dark, and pretty much everything I love about Daredevil in a character wrapped up in one. If Frank Miller established the darker and more ruthless world of Daredevil, Bendis to me expanded this character with great character work on top of excellent character motivation and moments. And overall, this is easily one of my favorite runs of all time in the first volume. Fantastic, five out of five. I have no issues with the first volume. Now we're just gonna jump into the second volume. And I'm just gonna say it straight out that the second half of Bendis' run is not as strong as volume one. And I think that's pretty much any long running series in my opinion, but I will say that it remains extremely strong. This Daredevil volume is basically four arcs. One being more of a kind of an old fling type storyline with Black Widow coming back from Mur Matt Murdock and teaming up with him and actually dealing more with Natasha's shit. So that was kind of interesting. Then we get into a crime boss or an old crime boss coming back for revenge against Matt. That one's okay. We have a little mystical tale of a little evil baby creature messing with people and Daredevil is somehow involved. So I kind of appreciate that this was more of a mystical kind of feel versus everything else being much more realistic. And then the final arc, which is actually one of the best arcs in the entire run between both volumes, is Kingpin striking back at Matt for what he did to him and having proof to put Matt away in jail. So overall, this is really solid. The last arcs are, the last arc itself is phenomenal. The others are pretty good. This isn't my favorite part of the run, probably the weaker part, especially with the older crime boss or even the mythical creature storyline gets a little too 
weird for me, but even so, it's still a great volume. It's still a four out of five, or actually that final arc is so goddamn good. Those final six god issues are some of the best ever in comics for me so that's a 4.5 i'm gonna raise this omnibus too i think if you read it back to back these omnibuses are no lower than a 4.5 but honestly if you love this as much as my if i do this is a five out of five series bendis really reshaped matt to make him one of the greatest characters again so frank miller really started that and there have been good runs in between that but it wasn't until bendis came in that it reached the same levels as frank miller for me and then after that it kind of really maintained it in terms of some really good or even great runs and even the current run has been great in a different way but yeah this run phenomenal if you can get your hands on these i know volume two is I believe out of print, but they are reprinting them or kind of stealthily reprinting them here and there. These are both worth it 100%. This to me is what made Daredevil my favorite Marvel character. And I have a lot of characters I love, but this made me the hugest Daredevil fan. I absolutely love this run. It overall is a five out of five for me. I think it's one of the best runs of all time, but uh, volume one, five out of five, volume two, I'll go with 4.5 out of five, making these both must own for any fan now let me know what you think is the best daredevil volume or you know what's the best run for daredevil or do you just have a single arc that you think is the greatest daredevil arc of all time list that below i would love to see some different answers i think daredevil has a lot of different series that are so good that i can see a lot of different answers below if you like this video hit that little like button that always means a lot to me if you love it hit the subscribe button i got a lot more videos coming out that i would love to share with you and everybody else that's watching this, I want you to have a wonderful day. That's right, a wonderful day.